I sold my iPhone 13 Pro Max and switched to this little dumb dumb for an entire year. And this is what happened. How's it going guys? My name is Trevor Hunt. If you're new here, thank you for joining. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back. I'm glad to see you. Today we're talking about the light phone. I'm not reviewing the light phone, but instead I'm going to tell you why I switched to this dumb phone that can't even view pictures to make my life better and less complicated. Honestly, I hit a complete low in 2022. I was spending too, way too much time on technology and it was seriously impacting my mental health. I would spend roughly 10 to 12 hours a day on screens. When I got up in the morning, I would look at my phone. When I was on my way to work, I would listen to something on my phone. At work, I'd be on my computer all day. On the way home, another podcast on my phone. When I got home, video games and YouTube videos. Any free moment I had, standing in line at the pharmacy, waiting in the bathroom, on my phone. Then I would edit YouTube videos on my computer. I literally, there were some days when I touched 15 hours of screen time in one day. I don't know, that's, that's insanity to me. Honestly, it was a huge problem. I use my phone more than the average bear. I don't know if bears <laughs> use phones, but if they did, I would use my phone more than them. And I kept doing this and doing this until one day I hit a breaking point. Honestly, there were a lot of things that went into this breaking point, but one of them was my technology use. It got so bad, I started suffering from minor pains in my chest. I went and got x-rays and scans and all sorts of things, and they were like, hey, there's nothing physically wrong with you. The doctor looked at me and said, do you have anxiety? And I was like, no, I don't have anxiety, but uh, I did. I, I had an anxiety, you know, I had anxiety. <laughs> I still do. I still do. It started to take a toll on my marriage, on my life, and on relationships with people. I wanted to be, I, I would have rather spent time looking at a screen than to be face to face with someone else. I escaped some of my problems in my phone and I justified it. I was gaining thousands of followers online and I thought, hey, I need to be on my phone all the time in order to maintain my online presence. But the problem was, who cares about online followers if I don't even have healthy relationships in real life, face-to-face -face interactions? So I had to make a change, and I looked at the one thing I used the most, which was my smartphone, and sold it on eBay. I sold it on eBay, and I switched to the Light Phone. The Light Phone is awesome in the fact that it has no access to internet, no pictures, no videos, only text, only call, and GPS. Within one week, I went from 10 to 12 hours a week of screen time down to one to two in an entire week. It was insane. And honestly, I, I'm kind of ashamed to admit it, but I started going through withdrawals. I emotionally missed my phone. I missed watching YouTube videos all the time. I sold my Nintendo Switch as well, and it wasn't easy. I would love to sit here and tell you, hey, if you sell your smartphone, your life will be instantly better and great, but mine wasn't. I had to go through counseling, and it took roughly six months, six months for me to find clarity fully to where I wasn't missing these things anymore. And it's been roughly 10 months now without it, and I'd say the last four months were the first times in my life that I had mental clarity like I've never had before. I have been playing my guitar more often. I've been practicing my singing more often. I've been working out every single morning. I started reading books again. My focus has improved. My relationships have gotten better because I can look at a person's face and stay focused on them for a while. Honestly, I've noticed a change even in my ADHD and I don't take medication. So that's been a huge improvement on my life. My memory's improved. The list goes on and on. And that's the reason why I honestly, see, I never see myself getting a smartphone again. I have no desire. I bought a nice GPS for the car. I will continue to use this phone. It works perfectly fine for calls, texts. Um, in fact, the voice to chat feature is phenomenal. I hate texting anyway, so it's a perfect way to tell people, hey, I'm not texting you because I have this kind of phone. <laughs> oh man, people that I know are gonna see this. <laughs> I'm sorry, mom, I'm sorry. I don't like texting. Before I go on, I need to clarify a couple things. I'm not saying technology is bad. I'm not that person. In fact, I, I love technology. I, I keep up on all the latest tech. I enjoy looking at the newest cameras, the newest phones, the newest microphones, the newest recording equipment, the newest computers. I literally browse Apple's website for fun. So I'm not against technology. For me personally, too much tech negatively impacted my life. And I'm telling you, if you're having the same issues as me, it might be a good idea for you as well to 
take a break from your smartphone and try out the light phone. I do think everybody could benefit from cutting back on technology. I think also that we could all benefit from quitting social media. I'm not saying that everyone needs to get rid of their smartphone. My wife still has one because she is super focused and well, and she's good at managing her time. She doesn't struggle with being on it all the time. So it's not a bad thing for her. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me right now. If you think you'd like a light phone, just like, you know, shh, shh. Just like my light phone, don't, don't, don't you laugh. This is serious. I've got good news. There's a link down below in my description. Now, it's not gonna cost you any more money, but if you use that link to buy your light phone, which is only 300 bucks, by the way, I'll get a small commission from light phone for sending you that way. It's a huge way to encourage me to make more videos like this. Speaking of more videos like this, if you'd like a review of this light phone, a more in-depth review going all the features and everything about it, please let me know in the comments below. I'll make it happen. The, the last thing I need to tell you before we end this joyous conversation, I still have bad days and you will too. No matter what you do in life, you will have days that are rough and hard and difficult and that's okay. I just want to have less bad days. And when I got rid of my smartphone, that's exactly what happened. I also wanna develop the type of character that allows me to be stronger for those bad days. Don't you dare let survivorship bias fool you. I'm not just Mr. Happy Pants McGee. I'm not a self-help guru and I'm never gonna become one. I'm only sharing one little thing that has made my life better that could possibly make your life better. It could make your life better and I want you, I, gosh darn it, I want your life to be better. Guys, that's all I got for you, seriously. Thank you for watching. God bless you and your family. And as always, take it easy. Whew.